Good morning. Here I have come with a new topic. Chapter is same. It is uh, viscous flow, and the topic is momentum correction factor. There are two factors which you need to study in this chapter. Those are momentum correction factor and kinetic energy correction factor. In this video, you will get only momentum correction factor. In my another video, you will get kinetic energy correction factor. What is the use of this? What is the significance of momentum correction factor, etc.? Those things will be discussed in my uh, videos, and uh, uh, but not in this video. Okay. Later, I will discuss all about uh, momentum correction factor and uh, kinetic energy correction factor in my new videos. Okay. So here we are just uh, going to show you. Just I am going to show you. Momentum correction factor, how you will calculate this? First, what is the definition of momentum correction factor? The problem is that uh, whenever uh, momentum or the kinetic energy, these terms uh, come into picture and uh, means what? Come into picture means what? If these things are necessary for some, the, for some calculation purpose, for the purpose of calculation, if uh, these things are necessary, momentum, kinetic energy, etc., in those cases, uh, what happens, uh, normally we deal with uh, average velocity only. Average velocity of fluid through pipe. We have taken here one circular pipe. Always we to talk about, actually for the uh, sake of mathematical simplicity, we always talk about average velocity. Okay. But if this momentum is required or the kinetic energy is required, and if you calculate that momentum or the kinetic energy by using the average velocity, then you will get erroneous result. Erroneous result you will get. Okay. So to avoid this thing, the error which is introduced just due to the use of uh, average velocity. Okay. Average velocity is not actual velocity. You know that across the cross section there is variation of velocity. And the nature of variation is parabolic. Everything is known to you. So what is required? Uh, there is a fixed uh, ratio in between the actual momentum and the uh, momentum based on average velocity. Actual momentum means what? Momentum based on actual velocity divided by momentum based on average velocity. You will get, if you take this ratio, you will get a fixed ratio, a fixed numerical value. So if that numerical value is known, then just first you calculate momentum by using only average velocity and then you just multiply that uh, uh, momentum based on average velocity by that momentum correction factor so you will get in that case actual momentum okay so uh, what is the starting point here first of all you draw this stage i have taken one pipe cylindrical pipe and i have taken one uh, this is side view okay we have taken one ring element this is the ring, okay. This is the ring. Radius of this ring is r, small r, and uh, the thickness is dr, d small r, and uh, this radius of the pipe is r, capital R. Okay. You know that actual velocity, this u, this is actual velocity, this is equal to 1 by 4 mu minus del beta x into r square minus r square, and this is average velocity, u bar means average velocity. This is equal to 1 by 8 mu into this into this. Okay. So, uh, this is actual and this is average velocity. So, how this momentum correction factor is defined? This is normally denoted by beta. The Greek letter beta is used. And beta is equal to what? Here, I am not writing the whole sentence. Here, I am just writing actual velocity. Okay. Okay, I am not going to write here the entire sentence, actual velocity, and here I am writing average velocity. Average velocity. Okay, so here, how it is defined? Momentum of the flowing fluid per second, means per unit time. Momentum of the flowing fluid per second based on actual velocity divided by momentum of the flowing fluid based on average velocity. Okay. Momentum of the flowing fluid 
per second based on average velocity per second that term is there just keep in your mind that per second per unit time this is not only momentum this is not uh, and this is also not only momentum both in the numerator and denominator momentum per unit time that thing appears okay so that way momentum correction factor is defined calculation is so easy it may be somewhat lengthy but it is actually easy calculation okay so i am going to show you the same thing now i uh, i don't don't need all these things okay this is case is not required so i am going to erase all these things because space available on my board it is so small okay sufficient space is not there so uh, first of all uh, let us calculate what is the discharge based on actual velocity discharge uh, discharge is how much if you take that element so what is the area of that element that ring element it is equal to 2 pi r dr 2 pi r dr that is the elemental area ring element okay 2 pi r dr 2 pi r is the circumference multiplied by that width, that width dr that gives you the elemental area dA so dA is known then what is the flow rate you know that area multiplied by the velocity that is the flow rate okay so what is the flow rate therefore dQ that is the flow rate this is what this is volume per unit time okay this is volume per unit time discharge is measured two ways one is volume per unit time another one is second one is uh, mass per unit time here we are talking about volume per unit time and you know that volume per unit time is equal to what that area multiplied by the velocity so here u into dA this u this is actual velocity okay this u is actual velocity u into dA so what is dA this much so it is equal to what 2 pi r u dr right yes right 2 pi r u dr so this is the discharge and we are uh, all, uh, we are dealing with here in this chapter we are dealing with incompressible flow that means density remains constant it doesn't vary at all so here suppose density of the flow flowing fluid is it is rho so what is the mass this is volume per unit time then what is the mass therefore dm write this way dm this is equal to rho into dq rho into dq density multiplied by the volume okay per unit time here this is also per unit time this is also per unit time this is volume per unit time this is mass per unit time okay so this is 2 pi r rho u dr so this is mass per unit time then what is momentum per unit time you know that momentum is defined as product of mass into velocity mass and velocity that way momentum is defined so momentum per second momentum per second is how much this multiplied by what velocity okay therefore momentum per second just i'm writing this way momentum per second acc for second okay momentum per second this is equal to nothing but u into dm right u into dm this is the momentum per second of the flowing fluid based on what based on actual velocity so and actual velocity is this much so uh, you just uh, replace that this u here 1 by four, uh, no not uh, not at present okay later you will replace all those things okay you just uh, put here expression for dm so u into 2 pi r rho u dr so two times u appears here so you write this way 2 pi r rho into u square dr this is momentum per second momentum per second for which fluid fluid which is passing through that ring element okay then what is the total momentum total momentum means uh, momentum of the flowing fluid across the entire cross section that is the total momentum of the flowing fluid per unit time or per unit second uh, per second not unit second per second okay therefore what you need to do you just integrate this limit should be what here only one variable is there that is small r this is the variable and limit should vary from 0 to capital R capital R is the radius of the pipe therefore 
what we need to do momentum per second this is for the ring element okay so momentum will be what that will be zero to capital r and integration of this expression so 2 pi r rho u square dr right now u is known to u u is this one so in the next line you write zero to capital r and 2 pi rho these are what these are constants this is pi this is pi okay 2 pi rho uh, 2 pi rho then r is there write this r and u is this much so you put the expression for u 1 by 4 mu 1 by 4 mu minus del b del x is there and then r square minus r square is there and whole square of this thing because square of velocity appears in the expression so you make square of this thing into dr is there right okay everything is now uh, means we are in, uh, on the verge of completion of this uh, calculation you just uh, uh, what you need to do you just uh, really integrate this expression just square of this appears here okay other things are constant here 1 by 4 mu minus del these are uh, constants across a cross section so mm, it is somewhat lengthy but actually easy if you watch this video carefully then you will find that the calculation is lengthy but it is actually so easy okay integration is not difficult here okay the next line i am writing here so what i am getting here 2 pi rho is there then square of this okay so write it here 2 pi rho then 1 by 4 mu whole square of this becomes what 1 by 16 mu square and then minus plus becomes same here because square appears since square appears so i have not written this minus sign okay square appears and then the integration sign 0 to r okay and square of this thing is there so you expand that thing what will be there r to the power 4 minus 2 r square into small r square plus small r to the power 4 and then dr okay 2 into 16 here 2 16 so 1 by 8 mu uh, right 1 uh, not right pi rho 8 mu square pi rho 8 mu square is there and then square of this del p del x this is also there okay then uh, then what is the integration of this? Okay, it is first term is r to the power 4 into r, then minus 2 r square, and here you will get r cube by 3, and here you will get r to the power 5 by 5. Okay, this is the result, and uh, here this is r, this is 0. Right, so again the next line is pi rho by 8 mu square del p del x whole square of this thing is there and you will get what after putting the limits you will get here r to the power 5 okay here you will get 2 r to the power 5 by 3 and here you will get r to the power 5 by 5 right Oh, one mistake I have committed. Once R was there. One R was there. This R was there. Okay. So, integration will not be like this. One R was there. Okay. So, what we need to do? One R was there. So, theta 2 erase this part. Okay. 1 r was there you multiply that r okay here you write this r then here it is r to the power 4 minus 2 r square r square r to the power 4 okay then this dr 
Okay, so if you integrate, what you will get? This r is there. Therefore, here you will get r to the power four into r square by two. Here it is actually r cube. R into r square is r cube. So here you will get two r square. So r to the power four by four. And here actually it is r to the power five. Small r into r to the power four. R five. So r to the power six by six you will get. And then you put the limits. Okay. Okay, sorry for the mistake. Okay, this is quite disturbing. I know. <sighs> okay, anyway, and uh, so this becomes what r to the power. After uh, putting the limits, you will get what r to the power six by two, right? And here two r to the power six by two. Am I right? R cube R to the power four by four. R to the power six by two. And here you will get R to the power six by six. Okay. Then what is the result? This and these are cancelled. Only remaining thing is R to the power six by six. So it becomes what? It becomes a next line. I am writing here. After erasing this, I can write here. Okay, I have to make it fast. Actually, time in hand is very short. So, uh, this becomes 48 in the denominator. It is 48 mu square. Here it is pi rho. Here it is square of del p del x. Okay, square of del p del x. And here only r to the power 6. So, this is what momentum per, sec uh, momentum per second of the flowing fluid. Based on actual velocity. And now you calculate the same thing based on average velocity. Average velocity is this much. Okay. Just you have to keep this result in your mind. So I am writing. I am copying the result here. It is pi rho. Because I need to erase that part. This del p del x. Whole square r to the power 6. This result is required. Okay. For further calculation this result is required. So now we are going to do the same thing that is momentum per second of the flowing fluid. We are going to calculate based on average velocity. So based on average velocity, what will be the result? Again, we need to calculate uh, uh, how how you will calculate here first discharge. Discharge will be how much? The cross-sectional area is pi capital R square. So pi capital R square that is the cross sectional area, right? Multiplied by the average velocity. This becomes what? This is becomes discharge. This becomes discharge. Means uh, volume per unit time. Am I right? This becomes volume per unit time. So multiply this by rho. Rho is the density. So this becomes mass per unit time. Multiplied by again velocity. This gives you momentum per unit time. Am I right? This gives you momentum per unit time. That is momentum per second. Area into velocity, this is discharge. Means volume per unit time. Multiplied by density, means mass per unit time. Multiplied by again velocity, becomes momentum per unit time. That is momentum per second of the flowing fluid based on average velocity. So this is what? This is pi, this rho, this r square, then square of u average and u average is this one so put that value pi rho r square u average so this is 1 by 8 mu 8 mu is there then minus del p del x is there and this capital r square is there and square of this okay am i right yes i think i'm right okay then this pi rho r square and square of this so 1 by 64 mu square square of del b del x should appear and here you will get r to the power 4 this r to the power 4 and this r square makes r to the power 6 so this is what pi rho by 64 mu square into square of del p del x okay 
and R to the power 6. Then what is beta? Beta is the ratio of momentum per second of the flowing fluid based on actual velocity divided by momentum of the flowing fluid per second based on average velocity. That means this divided by this. Am I right? This, this divided by this, that is beta. So you can see that everything is common. Pi rho, mu square, square of del p del x, r to the power 6. Everything is common. Then what ratio you will get actually? You will get ratio of this 64 and this 48. And that is the momentum correction factor. So uh, I am going to show you here. So momentum correction factor that is equal to how much? So the momentum correction factor this that is equal to this pi rho by 48 mu square square of del p del x whole square r to the power 6 and here you will get this expression pi rho divided by 64 mu square square of del p del x and r to the power 6 and this will give you 64 divided by 48 64 divided by 48 so this is equal to what 4 by 3 4 by 3 and this is the result okay this is the result for what flow of viscous fluid of course the flow is laminar it is not turbulent if the flow is turbulent then the result will be different okay we are talking about only laminar flow and you know that for laminar flow through circular pipe if Reynolds number is less than 2000 then only the flow can be considered as laminar otherwise if Reynolds number crosses the value 2000 then the flow does not remain laminar and in that case you cannot use this result okay so as long as the flow remains laminar you can use this result this result means you what this is the momentum correction factor beta beta is equal to 4 by 3 okay so if average velocity is known if the diameter of the pipe is known then you can calculate uh, the momentum per unit time of the flowing fluid based on average velocity and then multiply that result by this 4 by 3 that is momentum correction factor 4 by 3 you will get momentum per second of the flowing fluid based on actual velocity okay and that result is necessary for the purpose of different types of calculations and that those things will be discussed in my next videos okay so so what so this is the end of this video okay thank you thank you for watching this video have a nice day to all of you